Hello, YouTube. Coming at you today with a little arms and front delts. <sighs> Got a little diet A&W with me right now. Really helping out in this cut, I gotta say. But uh, anyway, for triceps, we just did two sets of straight bar pushdowns. And I kind of made an adjustment from last week. I now have a more kind of supported and stable version where I can't really cheat as much. So that's nice. And uh, then I did two sets of a overhead katana and then two sets of blah, 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 what I do. Oh yeah, uh, cable kickbacks. And yeah, everything felt pretty good. Pre-workout was kicking, got a good pump, you know. Everything just went pretty solid. And I'll just go ahead and talk about biceps, but uh, I just did two sets of uh, preacher curls, two sets of incline dumbbell curls, and then two sets of hammer curls. And I actually forgot to record those hammer curls, so you won't be seeing that, but... You know, I promise I did them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, today I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, when I got started lifting, I guess. And I kind of thought of this when I heard a clip of Jay Cutler talking about how when he was just starting out, like, you know... He had the physique and the blah, 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 but, you know, he didn't really know what he was doing. And that kind of made me start thinking about when I first started lifting. And, you know, it's kind of nice thinking back and just being like, man, I really had no idea what I was doing. But at the same time, you know, it was almost more fun that way. Just kind of, you know, going in, throwing heavy weight around, feeling like a bad mofo. <laughs> and, you know, just kind of doing whatever you feel like. And now I've got all stupidly scientific and I have to have an actual split and I can't bench press three times a week. Oh. I've turned into such a freaking bore, man. <laughs> but, you know, it. I'm glad I know what I know now and have more knowledge because obviously, you know, making better gains that way. But, uh, and just, you know, having a more pro proportional physique and all, everything good, you know. But... I kind of look back on those days, and I don't know, it's probably just nostalgia, but, you know, those workouts just brought a whole different vibe to it. And if you're an experienced lifter, or, you know, you've been lifting for four or something plus years, whatever, you can probably relate to that, unless you're still just kind of in that bench three times a week phase, I guess. But, you know, I say lift for your goals. And, you know, if you don't really care about being huge or proportional or any of that crap, maybe you just want to go to the gym, do some bench press, do some curls, whatever. I say more power to you, man. If that's, like, if you don't have those kind of goals and you just kind of want to go to the gym and have some fun, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> you know, I have all I have nothing but respect for that. But at the same time, some people will kind of hate on, you know, lifters who kind of take it more seriously and might look at it at a more, like, scientific approach. 
and, you know, just trying to kind of do everything perfectly. And, you know, I don't really agree with that. Uh, But I guess, you know, I agree to the science-based approach to lifting. Like, if you're trying to get the best optimal gains, but, there's a but, I agree with it just to a point. Because I feel like science-based research and all that, lifting and, you know, gaining muscle, it's not complicated. But at the same time, when you look at all the small, minute details, it can become extremely complicated. And I feel like when you're doing a study... Maybe like, oh, this exercise is better than this exercise. Or, you know, this way of dieting is better than this way of dieting. And there's very small difference between that actual exercises or the actual diet or whatever. You got to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Because you got to think. None of those people in those studies will react to everything exactly the same as someone else. Like if it's a study about, you know, uh, something about your diet, I don't know. Some people, they could be the same weight and, you know, maybe they they only burn 2,000 calories a day. Another guy might burn 5,000, you know. People's, like, (laughs) I guess, uh, metabolism can vary by quite a decent margin, to be honest. And while, yes, it does suck, it is also no excuse to be fat or or underweight, in my opinion. Because, you know, I would say, me personally... I kind of have, you know, just an average metabolism. Uh, But relative to my appetite, definitely very below average. (laughs) My appetite far surpasses my metabolism, which is, you know, why I used to be obese. So, there you go. Or maybe, you know... Just something from my childhood made me uh, just want to eat a bunch of food or something. I don't know. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that wants to just eat a lot of food all the time. And some people are the complete opposite. They, they dread eating. They don't really mind, like, being hungry. And, you know, those are the type of people that might call themselves hard gainers or, you know. Uh, One thing I do kind of hate is when skinny people will say, man, I, I can't gain weight no matter how much I eat, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not trying to just hate on skinny people because I have the same kind of thing with fat people who are like, I don't eat that much. I, I don't know how I'm fat. You know, it's it, like, you can't make excuses either way. Gaining weight, to put it simply, is just calories in, calories out. Whether, you know, I'm talking about fat or muscle, that can change a little bit, depending on, like, how new you are training, how much muscle you already have, how much fat you have, blah, blah, blah. But to put it simply, if you're eating a calorie deficit you will lose weight. If you eat a calorie surplus, you will gain weight. It's that simple. But anyway, enough kind of hating on people, you know? (laughs) I don't really like to do that much, but that is just a slight pet peeve of mine. And, you know, I want to just kind of educate and help people with that. I'm not really even trying to hate. Just, you know, hold yourself accountable, man. But... Anyway, oh yeah, front delts. 
just did a couple of things of front raises. Forgot to mention that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. And uh, yeah, see ya.